things of the Spirit, mm. how to trust God, and did he do a good job? Amen. Mm. Now, Elisha's request and the stimulation attached to fulfillment. Elijah doesn't clap Elisha on the shoulder or walk in, off into the sunset. He said, if you're there, when the Lord takes me, it shall be so. But if not, it shall not be so. So that is a condition. Unless you're there in the right place, it's where you stand is what you get from God. And if you don't stand in the place, you'll miss out on God. Hallelujah. Not your brother, not your sister, but you yourself. Amen. Whatever you've been waiting for. If you're not willing to pay the price, it's okay, Lord. I don't care what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm going to serve you. It's a challenge. Mm -hmm. And finally, traveling the road. <coughs> this verse, verse 11, there's the phrase, as they still went on. They never stopped. <clears throat> they went on. Hallelujah. Mm. Even though he was near the end of his life, Elijah found no stopping place. Mm. He didn't find any place to unhook and drop off. God get on. <coughs> what an exit he had. And as they crossed over the Jordan. Mm. And then came that chariot of fire and the horses of fire. Hallelujah. And come in between Elisha and Elijah and picked him up. Took him up in the world. Mm -hmm. Now right between them. Mm -hmm. And Elijah said, My father, my father, the horsemen are gone. Mm -hmm. The chariot and the horsemen are gone. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus. And then Elijah dropped his mantle. Hmm. What did Elisha do? He picked up the mantle. Brought it together as Elijah did. Went to the water. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Now he'd been prepared because he went through the whole steps of what God wanted to do. Amen. From Gilgal to Bethel. From Bethel to Jericho. From Jericho to Jordan. That was the place of death, dying to self. But then, in dying to self, that's when you went on. They still went on. They still went on. No matter what happens, all the things along the way, remember you are in a battle. You're fighting things that you can't see. And this is where we make the mistake. We're looking at each other. It's not you. It's not your brother, nor your sister. But you stand in the need of prayer. Because we have an adversary who can whisper things in your ear. And he knows exactly where you and I are. But you see, the answer to these things is not in the flesh. Not in the soul. But in the spirit. You will not get the answers if you walk in after the flesh or after the soul because there are fatal issues there when we trust in self. And if we egotistic, we we'll never get anywhere. But believe you me, when you're in a battle, sometimes there are hardships. You get battered. You get battered. I've seen men couldn't stand it. And they've gone into retirement, they have lasted on at all. We need to hold on to God, my brother, my sister. Amen. It's not people against people, it's the devil using people against yes. people. And we all, every man, jack us, we fall into his trap. Because yes. we're not always, all, always in the spirit. Sometimes, and that is the fatal thing, because we depend on this part too much. Yes. It can take you to hell. We need to live in the spirit. Hallelujah. It's a hard thing, yes. But that is when you get there. You don't see the sleepless nights I have. You can't sleep at Because you feel it. <coughs> Aches 
and the pains of people and see what the devil is doing in their lives. <laughs> Twisting them around and seeking to destroy. And that's what he's after, you and I. <laughs> to destroy your testimony. <laughs> My God, help us. Yes, Do you know the Lord could come for you today? Mm -hmm. I hope that we live in Trent. Mm -hmm. i myself as well. Not just you. Mm -hmm. This great God we have, brethren, that's what's lost in the world today is the fear of God. And that's what the church <coughs> needs to bring back. We need to warn these people outside. There's come a time coming when if they don't accept Christ, they're going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. You have a duty. And we need to take on the same spirit of Elisha. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for the whirlwind? Yeah. When he comes, the spirit of God will come and take you alive. The soul, the church is with you. It's for the redemp our redemption. Are you waiting? Are you watching? Are you working? Work out your, your own salvation with fear and trembling. Brethren, I don't want to be left in the United States. I don't want to suffer under the Antichrist. <coughs> but there's great tribulation coming. And this is your time of watching of waiting and of working. Watch, wait and work till the master comes.